Oh, welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So, I'm on my way now to MCM. Guys, it's a glorious morning, as you can see. There's a lot of people waiting to go in as well. So, let's go join the queue, see what we can find. And this is just a Friday. Jeez, can you imagine what a Saturday is going to be like? This is the next bit, guys. It's literally like just a queuing system. Uh, the reason I'm showing all this, this is my first time coming to the MCM. Never been before. The last convention I went to, uh, 2016. So, yeah, let's see what happens here. But yeah, I'm near. I'm nearing getting in now. I just hope I'm in the right lane. If I'm not, then I'm kind of screwed. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Pretty cool. All right. <laughs> Creators. Start from the beginning. So you're always going to get a lot of people selling the arts and crafts. Uh, obviously, pushing their independent model. I'll tell you what, there's absolutely there's loads of cosplayers. Interesting fact, I actually own uh, the cover to Mark's issue 10 of Rick and Morty, the variant. I'll try and put a picture in the corner, but uh, yeah, he was kind enough to sell it to me. Oh, definitely, I want to say back in 2016 now, uh, paid 150 for it. So yeah, not too bad, not too bad. I'm kind of losing the will at the moment. A lot of photo opportunities. Oh, look at this cool place. Let me put back here. Yeah, right. Guys, the first store I've seen. Uh, now the, the important thing is you never pull the trigger on a first store. guys start to see so all the merchandise over this side so it looks like though this is a sitting area quite cool chill out more artists over this side uh, I think they're gonna do some lightsaber dance oh god there's a big crowd as well I feel like I'm just hit some kind of uh, Jedi training
<laughs> now this is the main thing I've come for. Big game install here. Uh, and it's getting absolutely blitzed on the first day. <laughs> I will come back to have another look it's a little bit packed and to be fair on the prices you're paying a hell of a lot more at these gaming stores than you are at cx which is surprising you know but it's a convention so you're going to pay up in prices uh yeah quite shocked to see that to be fair
City comments. standing out yet apart from a hat that's disappointing Uh, yeah, please. yes, please. Thank you. Oh, cheers. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh, 
thanks thanks a lot thank you, thank you. I'm Still, everyone's going crazy for the proper fat prototype ones. Guys, I've been after for ages, right? I haven't been able to pick them up, but a creep from a Creep Show, the TV show on Shudder, so I picked that up. <coughs> this is more me, if we can get in there. Guys, another game install. Look how busy it is. And it's Friday. Your bag. 
I used to have something like that on my Game Boy back in the day. I'm guessing they're all the same PS1 games, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Say, say I buy a few, is there a chance to do a deal or yeah, PS1 games? What, sorry? PS1 games? PS1, it depends how many you're going to buy, really. Yeah. Give me a bundle and I'll see. You okay. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'll take a look. Cheers, thank you. Box one. That's true. 
Uh, it's a quality game. Cheers, mate. I want to grab those ones if that's alright. Yeah. And if there's anything you can do. Pay my cash? Yeah. Full Always yeah. cash on it. Yes. 48, 45 quid. Yeah? Yeah. Done. I, I need them for my collection anyway. Yeah, they might be uh, some of them. Yeah, I clean the cases and clean the discs and stuff like that. So, well, I'd say I wipe over this. There you go. No, yeah, no, much appreciated. I wasn't expecting to see like a load of gaming stuff, but it's always good when you see like PS1, collections and stuff. I've got over 400 PS1 games with it. Oh, wow. So, yeah, got You're clear him, no doubt, I would have thought. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've only just got to it, but I thought oh, I'm not going to stop no, in case they're gone. There's no retro games these that I know of. There's one over the far end, though. Yeah, he's, he's, a, bit, he's a bit expensive yeah, on some of these stuff. Yeah, he's going to have high end stuff. Yeah. Well, you want to make money, didn't you? Yeah. It's kind of it's like if you want to, yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah, yeah. But no, thanks for that, and no doubt I'll pop back because there are some more. But I'm like, oh, I'll take a look around. But yeah, all right then, thanks. Take care, bye. So guys, wasn't expecting to pull the trigger on gaming stuff today. To be fair, just done 45 on four PS1 games. So Draclia, I need Draclia one and two. I need Super Puzzler two. And a drawing of darkness. Uh, come to 48, dumb in for 45. I was happy with that anyway. I thought the prices were really good. Uh, it's just too hard to find these PS1 games now. I love the horror stuff as well. Now, he was just telling me, you guys would have heard, that he's walked around uh, and he believes he's the best retro store there and there's not much more to look at in terms of gaming, uh, toys, etc. And I, I was expecting that. Uh, it's a convention, it's an expedition, isn't it? Uh, it's always going to be newer stuff over older stuff. You're not going to find the stuff you see at a toy fair or if you go to New York Comic Con, etc. Uh, we are still quite in early days, even so these have been going on maybe for 20, 30 years now. Over here, we always get a lot more newer stuff.
lots of Pokemon cards as well, guys. Now, I've got my base sets. That's a, all I'm doing. More Necker. Let's just look at prices. It's the whole thing when you're walking around, you've got to look at stalls first. I tend to say that because everyone's kind of got the same stuff, similar new stuff, Necker. You know, McFarlane, check the prices before you purchase. These look pretty cool. They're really cool and quite creative as well. Tintin store.
cross cover. It's a cool cover. start selling my comics guys the prices are crazy for what i was paying 10 years ago uh obviously where well, i've shifted into other bits and pieces but geez i may have to dig some of these out This is cool guys, look at this. Oh, 
cost me one. <coughs> I think I've got that. Shadow of the Beast. Yeah, it's a cool game here.
Did it, they stretched as far as that, didn't they? Can I get yeah. the whaling? Okay, yeah, 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 I'll grab that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, thank you. Much appreciate. No, I'll bung it in here. Alright, cheers, mate. Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, I had to get that, guys. £10. I don't usually buy anything clothes related, but coming to America. Coming to America, I had to buy that. It's mostly only a couple of quid, but. I've got caught in the Comic Con hype. been here already yes I have now I'm lost yes I have been here apparently there's some other stalls over the other side so guys it's, it's quite huge it's quite overwhelming to be fair so we've got the official MCM store uh, followed by I have no idea what this side is this looks like I'm about to just go into a uh, fairy tale land absolute god knows oh autographs and anime stuff the one to go first. They're pretty cool. That's all that is cool at the top. You. Oh, it's lush. I thought it smelled like soap. Hops. a new program coming. Hopefully I don't get copyright strikes for it. It already looks like it's got a Game of Thrones vibe.
The only one wrapping great trading cards for years. Now they've got this. Able to look at the ones there. Can I come over? Yeah. All right. Cheers. All right, guys. I'm wrapped up in trading cards. Oh, jeez. Difference. 
Ford signature on it. See drip graded cards. I haven't really seen any, especially the Marvel ones. Oh, look, there's loads of toys over here. Why are they not over on the other side? Why have I been sent over here? Because <laughs> we never see them out of the boxes, because they, they come, come like that and we leave them in them. Yeah, yeah. Looks like a monster out there. Well, chew it. Mad. Easy over this side.
Yeah. So this is where I want to get to, guys. As long as they're not all new. I'm going to turn this off, guys, while I go through these, and then I will come back to you if I've picked any up. So, guys, it's pretty loud in here, but... done everything now uh, unless I want to pick up any sofa balls because of the lush see what there is around here oh I'm a sucker for candy stay away from the candy nice tea be moving to Japan I'd be just some fatty out there mate there's a white ranger oh this might help ah oh, so I've done it all I've done both sides oh, it's massive been in there so, so I've done both halls I've done both halls guys run straight and narrow there's some good bits to be fair it's a fun afternoon it's a bit of a drag getting in as you can mostly tell by my uh, attitude at the beginning but I think once you're in it kind of takes away all that negative vibe you've had in terms of queuing and just waiting uh, now I just want to go and have a rest I have a telly on his head is it Saga? I don't know. There's the boys. See how they're getting on. Really busy in here now. But I think it's open to the public now as well. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Also people make got there. Yeah. Yeah. I saw you've been putting them on Instagram and stuff like that and yeah. Sway Division. I was like, oh I need to come and look at them. The license we got confirmed on the license about six weeks ago. Okay. And we were in detail, but we confirmed it, we owned it. So now we're able to kind of yeah. see what we want to do. Oh, they look nice. Say again? They look nice. Definitely Thank look you, nice. Man. Thank you very much. Definitely take a look. Four in the Done the, um, the organism. Yeah, because I didn't. I saw those when you put them on. Uh, I yeah. think you put them on Instagram, yeah. didn't you? On Facebook and that. So basically, in the, uh, on the, in the figures themselves, yeah. you get the little organism. Ah, uh, okay. Eyes white. Ah, oh, and you put them in colours. But we've done them there, yeah, they're UV reactive. Oh, that's cool. So they glow in the black light. Yeah, that is really cool. And even a little special figure you've got there. I ain't seen that one before. The special you've got there as well. That's, yes, that's different. Uh, that yeah, that's quality. And then how much it you got twenty on those? Twenty you? on the each on the fingers feet. Yeah. Uh, the organism packs are ten pounds. Okay. And do you take card or is it? Yes, it's oh, excellent. All right then. 
Oh, it's, these are cool. Look at these. Cosmic Cowboys are we own the IP. Um, it's a line of figures that was originally built by a uh, British company called Atlas in 1986. We acquired the rights to it, so we brought it back. Oh, Artwork by Theo. There you go, Theo. But they were always too big. Yeah. So when we started producing toys, I'm like, I want to make Cosmic Cowboys. Because I want my Cosmic Cowboys to play with my Star Wars figures. Because I'm 39. Exactly. So uh, we've, done, we've done Cosmic Cowboys. And obviously when we spoke to Steve Pepper, he was like, I, I, That's I've cool. got some amazing ideas for this. And I'm like, let's go. See you. See you, mate. He's excited. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, this one is the limited edition this weekend. Limited edition Star Marshall figure that matches the comic because that's the regular Star Marshall in the colours that he was as a toy. But he is the version that's in the comic. He's the limited edition this weekend. Sorry? No, that's Cody. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, he, he still thought about that. Has he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, many, many. <laughs> yeah, thought about it. That's Cody. Cody's, Cody's in production at the moment for way too long. Oh, okay. As with a couple of other characters. Because he was talking to us about... Oh, my God, I'm going to have to scrub this. I'm like, dude, it takes me eight months to make a tour. I can't just do it because it's like, done it this week. It's not how it works. <laughs> He's here all weekend. Oh. He's here all weekend to bunch of coming. What can I do for my friend? I'm going to do a set. Absolutely. So I'll do a set. Do you want me to take them from here? Or are you going to pull back each right, one then. of the organisms with them? No, just, just those ones. Just the yeah, four? Yes, please. Thank yeah. you. Got one. Yeah. 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 Got a support. Got a support. Yeah. Got a support. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That is... Ah, oh, cheers. Thank you. Much appreciated. I have no idea what these are going to do tonight. No, well, they're getting a lot of... Everyone's waiting for 6 o'clock, aren't they? I think when you said you're going to put them on there. They're going live at 6 tonight, and I'm like... And I'm a fan of Theo's stuff as well, so it's like actually well, I mean, yeah, he's yeah, very talented. Yeah. Everything's Theo's work. Yeah. So that oh, is definitely. 80 pounds, oh right? cheers, thank you. And Vicar Book Supporters about yeah. this. It's fab when you know we see guys like yourself it's like coming down and you actually do, it's great. Yeah, I was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, definitely support. Alright, all the best. Hope you have a good weekend. Take care. Alright guys. See you in the pickup section. I'm turning this off and I'm getting out of here for today anyway. Not too sure I'm going to come back Sunday, but we'll see. Welcome back to Scott's Comics and Collectibles. So, guys, I have got back from the MCM comic convention. Absolutely loved it. I thought it was great to be back after uh, the year we've had. You know, it hasn't been on. I think it hasn't been on for this. Is this the second year? It hasn't been on so it's fantastic getting back out there and guys apology for the background i haven't done it up in the outbuilding because i thought i'd come up here quickly do a pickup video get this thing edited and get this thing out because there was a hell of a lot of other people that were filming doing bits and pieces so no doubt you're going to be inundated with content uh, for mcm so i'm actually in i've got my man cave up there this is like my wife's little section her cave her room you know lovely blackout blinds you know bags makeup it's one of those i should take this over as my another room an additional room uh, but yeah enough on that so guys in terms of what i saw today so getting there it wasn't a pain it's the easy thing still go custom house for me anyway should have gone to the next stop i got off at custom house because i'm just used to doing that had to walk all the way around now you need your coat you needed your covid passport which i had so that was great and it's quite straightforward just show them their passport you're in uh, but when you're there and you're eager to get in, it's the kind of process of getting through that kind of throws you off to begin with. So you had the COVID piece to pull out, then you had to walk around, and no doubt Saturday's gonna be absolutely packed. I was gonna say mayhem, but I know they've sold out the tickets and if Friday felt quite busy, 
God knows what Saturday's gonna feel like. Uh, but yeah, so I walked all the way around, went through, then I took my puffer jacket off, put it inside my bag, I had to take everything back out, get your bag checked. Fair enough, go all the way around, then get your badge. Didn't realize, because I was fortunate enough to get a creator's pass for the weekend, so a free pass to uh, MCM. Uh, because of the YouTube channel, believe it or not. Someone had, had uh, Ed, Ed Hunt had given me the heads up to say, look, access a creator's pass because you've got YouTube. And I thought, no way, it can't be that easy. But I'd done it, applied, I got a pass. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Uh, so I actually queued the wrong way. I could have just gone straight over to the like help desk, inquiry desk, got my pass and gone straight in. Uh, but it's a learning for next time if I do this again, which I more than likely will. Because there's another one. I think there's another one. Is it next June now, July? So uh, yeah, it's interesting. I've never, I've never really been to, I've never been to an MCM one. Been to a Su uh, London Super Comic Con, uh, been to the London Film and uh, London Film and Comic Mark convention. Sorry, but never been to the MCM. Uh, but yeah, fantastic. Loads. I think once you get through that process, bit it's fantastic. It's you know you get out, you just it's like you're entering into a world of its own, fantasy land. There's cosplay everywhere. You got two halls. One is like pop. Pop, I want to say, is it Pop Asia? Uh, and over that side, it had like loads of Funko Pops, uh, loads of kind of your yeah, anime, loads of, loads of Pokemon cards, loads of Pokemon cards. That was a big thing that I noticed this time. And graded cards as well. So there's a fantastic graded uh, company there, which had loads of different cards. But what I loved about it, that the staff was super, super friendly. And I'll try and put a picture up in the corner of that company, because I will be using them. They were super friendly super uh, helpful to let you know everything you have it they told you about how the grading works but they were selling graded cards there i thought at a reasonable price so they had which you would have seen in the video they had hundreds of mewtwo's for 30 pound from the newer series 2019 i think there was loads of charizards a japanese charizard which was 300 but for me they had loads of marvel cards that i remember from back in my childhood so the flare 94s the ultra 94s uh the spider-man uh trading cards loads of different marvel ones and the price point was 10 pound to get you like a grade eight or nine which i thought was fantastic if you're trying to get into grading cards or you want to get into trading cards what a great way to get people in so they were getting people in i reckon that way as well uh and it started you started asking questions about the company and i definitely use them i thought the quality of what they were doing uh and even like the way they presented the items and the way it popped out of the grading case and that, i thought yeah i'll definitely give them a go so i took their details down and i put it in a corner who did I go to next? Who did I go to next, guys? There's loads of different people. I brought the hat. I brought the hat from there. That's from the other hall, though. So let's go back to that hall that I was talking about. So you had the Pop Asia. You had the live uh, stand over there where they do live discussions. And then you had all the autographs going on. Now, there was hardly no one for a Friday. I didn't see a lot of people signing. didn't see a lot of queues. So I'm assuming that a lot of people either come in later in the day because I, I went 10 to about 1 o'clock on Friday. Hence the day that I'm filming this. And it's in the future. Uh, and that was kind of it for that hall. I went over to the main hall where you had like the, uh, I'd say like the expeditions, the kind of the artist, the little, I don't want to say bric-a-brac because it's not bric-a-brac, but you know, like the independent kind of sellers of like jewelry, art, uh, the creativity. So the creativity side, let's call it the creativity side. So where people are going out, trying to do things and trying to build a brand. Let's leave it like that. Uh, and then you've got like your toy sellers, your comic sellers, your game sellers. Weren't a lot of them. And if, to be fair, there wasn't a lot of, I, I like to call it like a second-hand market for, uh, for toys. It was more like your newer stuff. So the stuff you're going to see, your Marvel like Legends, you'd see your NECA, you'd see some of those newer toys, the Black Series, the Star Wars figures, but every, all the stuff that's been re-released like Ghostbusters, Beast Wars, Transformers, all that stuff was there. Didn't really see a lot of the second-hand market apart from one store that had a lot of uh loose vintage star wars which looked decent and you had i don't know if it's tokyo i don't want to say tokyo toys it, it, i spoke to tom at bizarro's pieces about this because he had like decent figures like devil man lots of godzillas and i think it's uh i ain't got my phone on me it's downstairs on charge uh japanese toys i think was his name that tom said to me but yeah he had a brilliant store and you would have seen that when you see me go through the box of godzillas uh he had a really good store and then there was a couple of gaming stalls. One of the gaming stalls, I only saw two, I'm going to say two gaming stalls to be fair, two proper gaming stalls. One of them, same prices as what I'd say, I'd go see X and buy that stuff for the same price, or if not a little bit cheaper. So they were high end, good quality, but for me, it's, it's their stuff's just presented well. They're in little uh, clear plastic 
bags, a little bit lighter, my lights that you get in comic books. Uh, so you can demand, I guess, a little bit more higher money in because of how much you're paying for the table and the foot flow you got coming through there. No doubt you'll sell those products as well. And that was a pretty hefty and busy table. Now I went around to another store that was selling games in there and they, to me, I think this guy had brought a couple of collections and he was selling his personal collection. I was there for a long time, Super Nintendo, Game Boy. Very honest that the fact he had done a load of Pokemon games that were copied games. Uh, but I guess the intelligent bit there was he had a load of Game Boys that he'd kind of refurbed, tidied up, cleaned, uh, selling the Game Boys and people picking up the Pokemon games. I didn't, know, I didn't necessarily know how big the original Game Boy games are that people want, the demand with a Game Boy. Now I have all the original stuff and I'm, I'm thinking, there's got to be some serious value here because these guys are picking up copy games, I think, for 20 to 30 quid. But because they haven't got a Game Boy, they're like, I'm going to buy a Game Boy, 60 quid. So straight away, you're buying a game and you're buying a Game Boy. So it was working really well. I saw a couple of those go while I was there. Uh, but for me, it's looking through the Mega Drive, looking through the Super Nintendo, very reasonable price. But I want to try and get a bigger collection. So I've got a huge collection of uh, PlayStation 1 games already, but I'm after a little bit more of the desirable games that you don't necessarily see all the time on eBay on auctions, or you just don't you just don't see a lot of them. For me, it's uh, it's the following one. So I've got Trap Up. I like that. So and all in all, guys, for the four games I brought, and you would have seen this on video, I think it comes to 48. And I did say to the guy, I did speak to him before, look, if I pick up a few, could we do a bit of a deal? Uh, even if you can do anything, to be fair. You know, prices are usually the prices at some of these things, but I, I always be a little bit cheeky and just ask. I ended up paying 45 in the end, should have been 48, so a few quid off, but I'm happy to get anything. But yeah, Dracula, and again, this is the kind of cases that some of the desirable games were going for on other stalls, on the other store anyway. Uh, Dracula 2. So I wanted both of those. Double discs, wanted those. The Dalton of Darkness, I've wanted this for a little while. You do see it sometimes pop up on eBay, but I've wanted this for a long time. Again, double disc. Wanted that for a long time. Uh, and then one of my favourites, which I'm quite surprised that I don't have in the collection, but used to have it years ago when I was a kid. It was something everyone would come around and always play when we were at my house, but Super uh, Puzzler Fighter 2 Turbo. Absolutely love this game and I need it. You can see I just need to do a little bit of work to get the remaining sticker revenue off. Uh, but yeah, apart from that, I was just looking around and seeing if there's anything I wanted. Loads of loads of fantastic art stalls. So a load of fantastic art stalls. Uh, and I, I will keep that footage in. No doubt it's a longer video than some of my normal videos just to give you guys a bit of a flavour. But the other things I've picked up, so picked up, and I've got I've got a leaflet for this one. Collector's Den. There you go, Collector's Den. Uh, decent newer toys at decent prices. But one of the toys I've been after for a while, and there's an interesting story about this, and I should have it already. So I ordered this from Savvy literally two years ago. I pre-ordered it. Pre-ordered it with the Ghostbuster figures. So the re-release of the Ghostbuster figures. Got my Ghostbuster figures. This was everywhere. I don't know why they didn't send it to me. They refunded me the money after about a year. They refunded me the money after the, a year. Uh, and yeah, so I've been on the lookout ever since for one. And I've gone past a few in Forbidden Planet and thought I'll go back. Forgotten, but I saw it today, 29. Thought I'm going to have that. Uh, I love Creepshow. I love the movies, obviously. Everyone's a big fan of the movies. But I quite like the TV show that's on Shudder at the moment. Uh, hence why I signed up to that uh, platform to watch Creepshow. But I absolutely love that, the creep. So I had to pick that up. Uh, and then, one of the main reasons for me to go in for this MCM in the first place is to see uh, Neymar Studios. So these guys, you see them on a lot of the toy channels, uh, YouTube, Facebook, they've got their own uh, channels on. I put own Facebook page, I put some pictures up in the corner in terms of what they had there. But this is some fantastic, fantastic figures. And guys, you're gonna know what these are straight away when I hold them up. If you if you remember the 90s, the amount of food products we used to have, which were kind of catered or themed around things that made it fun. So you'd have like Ninja Turtle pizzas that I've spoken about before from McCain's. You'd have like jelly, he-man uh, jelly turtles that are in little packets that you'd peel off and eat the jellies gummy bears you'd have gummy bear juice you'd have gummy bear gummies that you'd eat there was so much kind of retro i say retro now but stuff that was thinged off of cartoons that they actually brought over into food uh, and it's back when things like mcdonald's had proper bloody happy meal gifts they were giving away cereal cereal had 
it, I don't want to swear, cereal had absolute, had presents, had gives inside the cereal. You know, none of this health and safety stuff that you get now, you just can't do it. It's not right. It's not politically correct. We can't do that because of X, Y, Z. You know, it was awesome. So you would have had that. Yogurts, so this is where I'm going to do this. Yogurts would have been in certain shapes and Munch Bunch would have had their characters and then Finnish uh, feet would have had theirs. Look at this, look at this. This brings back, you guys are gonna know what I'm on about when I hold these up. Uh, and this line is for sale at the moment. They're 20 pound each, which I think is a good price point to be fair. They're made in the UK as well. So you're supporting a UK business, uh, so, which I love as well, but yes. Look at these, absolutely fantastic. The artwork's good. These went on sale today. So I'm saying it like it's Friday. They're on sale now, when you're seeing this video, at Neymar Studios. Just check it in, I'll put a link in the top. I'll put a link in the description bit as well so you can see it. And just take a look at their toys that they got on the site because they've got some brilliant, 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 they've got some brilliant ideas, some brilliant people working for them as well. And I've got a shout out, obviously with the packaging, uh, and some of the other toy lines that they got on there, Theo, and you guys know Theo from Slimehouse TV, uh, works with these guys to bring a lot of this stuff to life, worked on the artwork here, which is just amazing, and I think the artwork actually brings the whole lot to life, but yeah, and you can see they got little like accessories with them as well, but I'm loving that, strawberry flavour, chocolate, you can see that, look, how cool are they, and the little accessories that are with them that glow in the dark, uh, and then you've got this one, raspberry. But look, every, this, and this is what I love. Look, every, the packaging, the detail on the packaging. The detail on the card in here, you've got the rat running out of the corner just to make it like a little bit more, I don't know, it's got like a grime feel to it. You love it, it's retro, retro vibe. And obviously banana flavor. This is the one I remember, the yellow one. It was always on the ads. So yeah, absolutely love these. So yeah, so I brought the set. So there's only four. There's four to season one. Uh, season one, series one, sorry. So there's four to series one. I brought that. And then your mind starts running away with you thinking, oh, because they've got the license for that to make those products. And you're like, where's it going to go for the next one? Could we get a little play set, which is a fridge? Wouldn't a fridge be brilliant? I was thinking this on the train on the way back. I was like, wouldn't a fridge be brilliant where you've got all of them and you could just absolutely line them up in the fridge. And then you've got two little drawers that pull out and you put the little accessories in there. There's an idea. They're mostly already working on something like that. And then guys, I guess the last one for me that I picked up, and I think I've said this in my pre previous videos, I will go along. Oh, and this one, oh, so it was Comicana Direct. Uh, so these guys are UK based, which is interesting. I know they're UK based, because I've seen them at the London Comic Mart. So I did pop along to their store. So I always say every year, there's always one store that have certain amount of comics and a couple of keys, but that box is a pound comics. That was them this year, which is good. So I ended up picking up only a pound each. So Amazing Avengers, free. Obviously that's getting a lot of hype at the moment because of some of the characters that are in that. Surprised to see that in a pile, to be fair. She-Hulk, so I'm trying to complete a She-Hulk set. There's not that many of them for the Savage She-Hulk, so I picked that up. And they have to be sense, guys. Uh, I picked up a few Hulks, so let's do the, yeah, the Hulks are all good, let's do the Hulks. So yeah, at only a pound each. You, you're not gonna go wrong getting some classic kind of Bronze Age Hulks here. There he is. Look at that. Let's do this one first. That's a cover, isn't it? Look at that cover. That's a nice cover. And then another She-Hulk. So I do want to kind of uh, pick these up. The only one is it's got pence and cents, but I'm happy with that. Uh, that one's okay to go in the collection. So yeah, that's why I picked up. Now guys, I have got a creative pass for the weekend. I'm not planning to go back Saturday. Uh, I may go back uh, Sunday, not 100% sure yet. Uh, we'll see what happens, because there is a toy fair this Sunday. There's a local toy fair, in, to me, in Alpington. It's not, it's not the best toy fair. There's a lot of toy models, uh, toy models. There's a lot of model cars, railways, toy soldiers, etc., and a few of the 80s, 90s stalls, I'd say like, maybe two or three max. Uh, but there are familiar faces that you'd see at Sandown Toy Fair, but they don't bring the toys they bring to Sandown to Alpington. Uh, so there's a guy that I see sells all the accessories, sells loads of toys, but when he's here, mostly Lego, which is strange. You never see him bring Lego to uh, Sandown. So I did speak to him about that because he had some police academy toys when we were at Sandown 
and he doesn't bring them to Alpington. So I did wonder if he'd bring those this time and I might have a conversation with him about that because they're, they're harder to get. And I think he was after decent prices for his uh, police academy, 25 quid, which is really good, really good price point to get picked those up at. But guys, that's it for MCM. I'm absolutely shattered to be fair. I didn't have any breakfast, didn't have any lunch because I was super excited. Uh, I feel the footage I got was okay actually. I was a little bit put off because there wasn't much light in there. There's a lot of people you've seen crowding to the front, even so it's not busy for a Friday. It's not a busy day. Saturday's the busiest day. So, you know, hats off to you people that went on Saturday. Uh, and it was fantastic to see the amount of people, different communities come together. The cosplay was fantastic. The amount of horror ones I was seeing. And I had my horror top on. The only bit I'm gutted about, if I could take one thing away that I was gutted about, that I didn't have other people with me. Because usually I'd go with my brother or my friend. Uh, I say friend, like I've got one friend. Friends. Let's say friends instead. But I usually go with my brother and one of my friends who likes this kind of stuff. Uh, and you can kind of, if you want a picture, like with someone cosplaying a horror uh, costume or, you know, like... Chewbacca that I took, uh, kind of turned around with a camera, he's like nine foot. That would have been brilliant to get a photo. There's another, there's a Game Boy that was like eight foot tall. I would have loved to have got a photo there, but I just didn't have someone to give. And I didn't want to be that person go, excuse me, can you take a photo of me next to that person? Didn't want to be that person. Uh, and I was going around, I had my camera and I had bags as well. So I didn't want to put loads of stuff down and keep going back and forth. But yeah, absolutely love today. Uh, just for the simple reason that it's back. Like there's, there's a, convention that's back it's a long time since i've been to one in the uk uh the last big one i went to is mostly new york comic con and to be fair i think once you go to the american ones you kind of look back and think what the hell are we doing wrong in the uk where we can't implement something similar or get all these kind of same brands all these big productions given we've got some of the best filming productions within the UK anyway and some of the big films are made over it why we can't pull or leverage some of this some of these people to come to our comic cons and make them as big as what New York Comic Con is uh, I don't think anyone would say or no one would disagree that the MCM they're not on the same level yet I think they're all owned by the same brand though I believe someone had definitely correct me in the comments but if they are you can definitely see it's improving there's different bits and there's different I guess communities coming in now when i used to go years ago it used to be you know not much comics all about uh cosplay and i guess cosplay anime but i guess what you can definitely see is the funko pops as a community i love it i love seeing the different bits and pieces i love seeing the people i love seeing people excited about it and you can definitely see that's filled the void in terms of space there's a hell of a lot of funko pops and then pokemon cards being as big as what it is now again and we haven't i haven't seen that since the late 90s you can see that that again that's filling up space and it's bringing in a community on its own so it's good to see the trading cards kind of community full swing if not because i saw pokemon people picking up marvel cards marvel cards picking up uh the Yugi cards is it i'm saying that wrong as well most surely but picking up those cards so everyone was like interacting buying stuff it'd be great to see more comic book sellers there i think you have a hell of a lot of artists you don't necessarily have the stalls there but then I don't know what the sales are like there. I can't say like we need more of this, this and this if they're not getting the foot, uh, foot flow through for their items. But I think it would be good if you saw something like a, I think, I know the tables are expensive, but if you saw something like some of the small, decent toy shows we see over here, especially like we've got uh, toy fairs in, uh, oh, what is it, in Essex, the, the London toy shop does. If you had those kind of sellers and give them a decent rate to get into MCM, I think it just set it alight. I really do think it's. I think it's missing that. It's missing that kind of community. The guys that have got these old 80s, 90s, 70s toys that have been loved and cherished, uh, and they're looking for new homes, new collectors, and bringing people in. I think if you had that community there, again with more comics, more gaming, I think you'd absolutely smash it. And you just need that more celebrity buzz. I get we can't get that for the moment because of COVID, but they're, they're my only things. I think if it was me, I'd really push for that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I can go on for ages. I don't want this to stretch. I just wanted to do the pickups. I've gone over again. But yeah, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoy it. I feel like I'm losing my voice because I've just had an amazing day. Uh, but yeah, guys, any thoughts and views, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Take care. Stay safe.